Hello everyone, it's Austin with an E. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to... Today is not one of my normal videos where I just sit and do art and then show you guys what I've made. Um, today is actually a collab with Peyton Saunders, who I've done a collab with before, and I'll link that video in the description. And um, yeah, so the, uh, I will be working my sketchbook today, not in Create This Book like we did in our last collab, but today we are doing the collab where you swap styles. So I'm, she has a very retro, modern, very cool style. And um, then there's, and she's going to, um, she's going to um, try to draw my style. And that is very cartoony, very, um, what would you call it? Just very cartoony and all these little derpy characters like this, just derp. <laughs> But yeah, she, so she has to draw in that style and I'm really excited to see what she's going to draw in my style. I already have a plan of what I'm drawing in her style. And I'm also going to be testing out the Montmartre gouache paints for the first time. I've never tried gouache before so and everyone's talking about it nowadays. So I really wanted to try it. And I'm also gonna use a washi tape just to block off the edges of my paper to make like a border. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. and. Um, and I will link Peyton's video or her channel or whatever. I'll link her in the description somehow. And okay, so hopefully, so go check out her video to see what she drew my style. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So now I'm just opening up the Mont Mart gouache paints and they're really pretty. And I'm flipping to the last page of my sketchbook. That means the tour is coming next and I'm just taping off the edges. Hey guys, um, I am very sorry. My iPad did not record this. It, it's not that I didn't press the record button, it's because it was out of space and I didn't save. So just imagine me taking this little paintbrush and doing this. <laughs> I just used the darker yellow, the kind of sienna-ish color, the purple and the black for this. Just I used lots of, only the purple color for the mountains, the dark yellow, with a little bit of the sienna on the edges for the flowers. And I used a little bit of black to mix this brownish color in on the center of the flowers. So we're just gonna carry on from here. And yeah, I was just updating on that. I'm really sorry about that. And yeah, let's just move on with the video. So I um, started working on the sky and Peyton does a lot of the sky suns with the rays coming out of them. So I decided that's what I would try to do. And I really love this paint. It, you can use it like acrylic like I am using right now on the pink of the, of the sun rays. And it goes very opaque. But you can also use it like I did on the mountains where it's watercolor esque like it's water it's like watercolor it's really fun to use and you can mix the colors really well so yeah um and a little paint goes quite a far way if you're using it the watercolor way but if you're using it like acrylics it does it like acrylics like you'll use the paint pretty fast when you use it like acrylics but yeah i'm just doing pink and orange stripes to um make the sun rays and Peyton does this a lot on her channel like on her collage wall that she just posted that would be one of the things so now I'm mixing up green and I'm going to paint some cactuses but I do change my mind about these cactuses later so now I'm just painting them and I made the one cactus arm way too big so now I'm going to make a I'm blow drying them and then I'm going to make a background color which I'm just mixing up with some um, of the burnt, some of the sienna, black, and white, and yeah, it makes this like brownish gray tone, and yeah, I'm just filling this in, and I changed the background color a few times, and I decided to just go right over the cactuses, you'll see that in a minute, and yeah, I'll just let you watch that.
another layer and I wanted it a little bit more reddish so I painted the background a little bit more red um well the desert landscape and I'm now gonna try painting more the cactuses again and then I decided I don't like them so off camera I did another coat uh, over them Okay guys, so um, now I'm going to take my Sharpie brush pen and I'm going to uh, do outlines on this, but I will do it off camera just because um, I think this video already has been pretty long, so um, I'll just do that and then show the end result and yeah, I'll show the end result and then we'll see the weekly art, okay? Okay, bye. Okay guys, I am here with the weekly art and I am not showing Sketchbook 7 today because I finished it and so the tour will be coming soon and I will also decorate the cover soon, hopefully, and um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the work that I did this week in the Tone Tan Sketchbook, which I started in my last video, so you would have seen this page if you watched that video. I'm sorry about that video, that's a very long video, thank you so much if you watched all the way through it. So I've just been doing lots of character designing and lots of elves. As you can see, I still have a lot. I'm still drawing mostly only um, males because I find it very intimidating to draw girl hair. And this guy's sad because he's bald. <laughs> he's cute. And then there's Loki, and he looks upset for some reason. But there he is. And. Um, I started the next sketchbook, and so you will be seeing this one on my channel now, and it's sketchbook eight. So I just decorated the cover and wrote what days I started it. I just started it yesterday, so I started it August 27th, 2021. And yeah, so I drew this little guy holding sketchbook eight. And as you can see, the eight looks a little bit weird because it has a seven in it. I actually um, wrote seven on both sides of this, so I had to fix that because I, frantically because i had already sprayed it with spray paint so i couldn't really over or not spray paint um hairspray i put hairspray over my pencil sketches it's a really good way to keep them from rubbing together and getting everywhere and actually it makes it unerasable like you cannot erase afterwards but you can layer more pencil on top just spray it again afterwards if you don't want it to rub um you guys should totally try it but yeah i haven't had a ton of time this week we've been pretty busy and um yeah so that was my weekly art i haven't really done a ton this week i have done quite a bit in my other sketchbook but i didn't really want to show it because i thought well i should keep some a surprise for the tour so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and um go check out peyton um peyton saunders video i'll somehow link it down in the description and yeah Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Austin with an E. Signing up for now. Bye.